Welcome to the Digital Glue Podcast. These digital untangling episodes are brought to you by Crystal Kordalchuk, CEO and founder of Virtually Untangled. This podcast is for entrepreneurs who need untangling from the day-to-day tasks in their business. These virtual world untanglers never underestimate the power of a good idea. And if that sounds like a lofty goal, well, (laughs) it is. A decade ago, Virtually Untangled was founded with the goal of creating meaningful digital experiences that connect with people. Crystal and her team of honorary untanglers are now providing business owners, just like you, the opportunity to own your story and share it with the world. So every Tuesday morning, she'll be dropping a new episode that will help you think big and dream even bigger. Let's dive into today's episode. If the most unique ideas were obvious to everyone, there wouldn't be entrepreneurs. The only thing that every entrepreneurial journey has in common is that there are many, many steps on the road to success. Tori Birch, CCO of Tori Birch LLC. Real change is difficult at the beginning, but gorgeous at the end. Change begins the moment you get the courage and step outside your comfort zone. Change begins at the end of your comfort zone. Some people say that entrepreneurs are crazy, and maybe they're right. Crazy motivated, crazy smart, crazy passionate. We are the ones who change the world and get to live our dream doing it. Freedom, purpose, and change. And due to those factors, it seems that more and more people want to become an entrepreneur. And with all the lifestyle greatness that comes along with the title, why not? However, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. You're going to make mistakes and you're going to be told by hundreds, perhaps thousands of people that what you're trying to accomplish simply can't be done. But it's our crazy strategies and tactics that are gonna change the world. The path isn't always easy and the survival rate is sometimes low, but it's the mental tools that keep our journey intact. And one of those especially important tools is resilience. As a business owner, being resilient is important because it reminds us that although the situation at hand may feel exceptionally hard and sometimes virtually uncomfortable, we can trust ourselves to overcome it. Resilience helps us learn better, perform better, be all the things for our team and clients, reduces the chances of engaging in risky behavior, helps us become more in tune with our true selves and social circles, and most importantly, improves our physical health. However, Being resilient isn't always as easy as it sounds, and it's most certainly not a walk in the park. Quite frankly, it's the exact opposite. So what I want you to do is think of building resilience like building muscle. It takes time, energy, sacrifice, and a whole heck of a lot of pain. You're going to feel aches and pains for a while, but trust me, it'll all be worth it in the end. Fear also tends to play a huge role in preventing us from being resilient. When we are afraid, no matter what it's about, we tend to run away instead of facing things head on. But facing our fears is a key in building resilience because it forces us to avoid all those nasty negative emotions. Don't get me wrong, being fearful is completely normal and it happens to all of us but it's time to let yourself out, conquer those fears and build resilience. But before we dive into the how of all that, let me share a little story with you. My job as a designer and an artist is to research everything. Yes, literally everything. Then look hard and close at many seemingly unrelated items and figure out a way to make them connect. Whether this connection is by look or feel or purely for functionality purposes. Having this type of mindset may seem like I have it all together and that I would be a great problem solver. But the truth of the matter is, problem solving in design land, yes. Problem solving in a good handful of years ago when it came to my career, no, a hard no. Before taking Virtually Untangled full time five years ago, I found myself holding some hard truths in front of me truths that I never knew how to tackle or have the ability to make a change in my mindset. Truths like being a designer is my whole life, but I was tired of being overworked and undervalued at my day job. The thought of following my true passion and breaking away from the nine to five gig, utterly terrifying and seemingly impossible. 
My day job was making my life and those around me miserable, feeling exhausted and just unmotivated. During these truthful challenges, one major thing has always been stuck with me. Let go of who you think you're supposed to be and embrace who you are. Stated by one of my favorite authors, Brene Brown. But how could I possibly conquer that dreaded fear of embracing who I am by staying in the dead-end job I was in? How could I possibly accomplish the day-to-day things in life such as bills, being comfortable with habit because that's what became of my life, a bunch of habitual ways of living, rinse and repeat, and not becoming homeless or more in debt. How could I amp up my confidence in order to take the big leap into entrepreneur land? And the last question, the one that scared me the most, how could I find happiness again? I thought to myself on many, many, many occasions, how do I get out of this black hole? How do I figure out how to be happy again and truly live the life I want and deserve? How do I take what I've learned and move forward? How can I possibly change my mindset, become more confident and resilient and make such a sudden life altering career move? Well, let me tell you, it was all possible. Never to this day did I ever imagine myself owning my own successful full-time business with the team, might I add, and still having the opportunity to follow my passion in life. At one point, I even considered dropping graphic design from my life and going to work as a barista at Starbucks. That's how much my nine to five sucked from my true being. Time and time again, you've heard me talk about the importance of the foundation of a story, one with courage, resiliency, and strength. Now it's time to think back to your story. Look at how far you've come. And every time that fear comes banging at your virtual door, let yourself out and conquer it. It has been nearly five satisfying years since the rebrand of my side gig into what is now known as Virtually Untangled. And I feel as though I have been reacquainted with reality. I can now say that I know myself for who I truly am, have a more positive outlook on life and where this new path is taking me and that I know the value of my worth as a person and through all the untangling my team and I offer within my business. Yes, I sometimes work long days and many hours past the usual nine to five, but to me, it's worth it. And I enjoy every moment of it. Yes, I still have deadlines, but this is all now on my schedule and on my terms. If I want to work harder and later than usual one day, that is now my choice. And I, as well as my lovely list of clients, reap the benefits. I finally feel happy and satisfied working my own hours and stepping to my own beat. And now the only person who can make me feel undervalued or overworked is myself. And to me, there's no room for that anymore. I guess what I'm getting at here is that I now have choices and I felt as though I didn't before. And so do you. Plus, all the options I get to choose from lead to happiness and nothing else. If I want to stay up late working, writing, learning, or even binge watch some TV, I can do that if it creates happiness for me. No more rinse and repeat. I am finally in charge of my own life, my own happiness, my own success, and conquering my fears and building resiliency along the way. If you think about it, Virtually Untangled has literally been an untangling of my own life. I was lucky enough to have the pleasure of working with talented individuals to help me find the courage to set myself up for achieving my bigger picture. Of course, taking those first steps were scary as hell, but isn't that what being an entrepreneur is all about? Working hard, taking leaps of faith, but for yourself, not for others building connections, putting yourself out there, and just being the best you you know how to be. Sounds like a corny 80s TV commercial, but true. It's been said that courage is contagious and that every time we choose courage, we make everyone around us a little better and the world a little braver. I truly believe that. We must learn to cope with our vulnerabilities and have a willingness to be all in, or we're never going to get to where we wanna be. We're never going to be truly happy and life is just going to pass right on by. So here I am 
still lucky enough to be accomplishing that dream I have forever held close to my heart. I feel very grateful and very lucky to be one of those few who gets to work in a field that was once only a childhood dream. Unfortunately, not many people have that privilege or drive to get them there. But after hearing my fear conquering story, I can virtually guarantee that building your dream business is possible. So are you ready to be courageous in your life? Want to know how to let yourself out, conquer your fears and build resilience? Here's some helpful tips. Get connected. Building strong, positive relationships with your team, clients, audience, social circle, or other entrepreneurs you admire can provide you with much needed support and acceptance in the time of the good, the bad, and yes, even the ugly. Never suffer alone. Make every day meaningful. Do something that gives you a sense of accomplishment and purpose every single day. Take a moment and think back to a handful of previous Digital Glue episodes where we talked about setting smart goals, getting organized, and making those lists to help you look toward the future with true meaning. Learn from experience. Think of how you've coped with hardships in the past. Consider the skills and strategies that helped you through all those difficult times. You might even consider writing a blog post or recording a podcast episode about those past experiences to help you identify positive and negative behavior patterns and guide your future behavior. Remain hopeful. You can't change the past, but you can always look toward the future. Accepting and anticipating change makes it easier to adapt and view new challenges with less anxiety. Our emotions make life richer and more fulfilling, but they can also sometimes make us do the stupidest shit. So keep your head high and your hopes even higher. Be proactive. Don't ignore your fears and problems. Instead, figure out what needs to be done, make a solid attainable plan and take action. Focus on what you can control. Although it can take time to recover from a major setback, traumatic event, or loss in your business, especially if you're just working your way to creating and growing your very own empire, know that your situation can improve if you work at it. Resilience is the virtue that enables us to move through hardships and become better. Yes, things aren't always going to be sunshine and rainbows. You're going to make mistakes, Things aren't always going to go your way. People are going to piss you off and perhaps sometimes you them. And you're going to be told by hundreds, perhaps even thousands of people that what you're trying to accomplish simply can't be done. But they are wrong. And it's our crazy strategies, tactics, and mindsets that are going to change the world. So if you truly sit back for a moment and think about it, we are all living during a startup renaissance, which is filled brim to brim with endless opportunities for anyone and everyone who has a passion alongside a strong idea. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. There really is no cookie cutter way around conquering your fears and building resilience. There are no real rules. Even though I completely understand, it may be more comforting to think so. Every business is different, just like every one of us humans is unique. You just need to find ways that work for you and just go for it. And that's a wrap. Virtually Untangled is a full service business, which means they've got you covered on design and content right through to digital and organization. You'll form a long lasting relationship with them as collaboration is central to everything they do. Now it's time to seize the moment and become inbox friends. It's easy to do. Just hop on over to virtuallyuntangled.com or their Facebook page to opt in and receive instant access to the most inspirational ride of your life. So what are you waiting for? Become inbox friends with VU. Until the next episode, keep untangling.